hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i'm going to be doing a wash day routine so my hair has been going through like the worst i don't really know how to explain this but i've been experiencing like a lot of hair loss so my hair has been thinning a lot this week which is really really annoying so i had my 10 week relaxer touch up on the 5th of july which was almost two months ago so after the relaxer touch up my head didn't break like i do experience like a little bit of shedding there and there especially like when you're doing like your wash your normally weekly uh washes but even after my relaxer touch up my hair didn't like fall off or anything and i went ahead and did my extensions which was end of july and i had the micro links and then right after i did my extensions i had covid which was it wasn't bad but i did had like symptoms was more like a flu but it was definitely covid and then i did the braidless sewing which also used like micro rings and with both extensions i tried to avoid using heat i only used heat like when i was filming but i was mostly at home because i was recovering the day that i removed it i washed my hair i conditioned my hair i deep conditioned i did like the whole treatment and detangle like it was minimal shedding and i didn't even like dry my hair i just let it air dry and just leave it i've been wearing scarf like the whole week but like a few days after my wash when i start combing and i'm using a white tooth comb when i start combing my hair i'm just coming back with like this clumps of hair like a lot so i'm not sure if it's because i relax my hair too early than normal people or it's because i had covid but i do know there are some cases where people will lose uh hair post covid but for me it's mostly like shedding it's not like breaking from the root it's like shedding like i do have like as you can see here this is like short pieces here of hair but it's still there i don't have like patches or anything like that so as you can see here it's like really really thinning and also like here i do have hair missing here but i don't really have a full hairline anyways so it's kind of like normal for me to lose hair like right here in the front i this happened in like a matter of days and the shedding is kind of like stopped now like i still get like few strands but it's not like clumps like i was just getting like big chunks of hair so now i can actually like comb whatever is left and you see like i only have like few strands not a lot so yeah i'm just grateful that i recovered and i didn't really get like bald spots so yeah that's like what's been going on with my hair so i'm just hoping that this has stopped now and i can continue doing my hair growth journey so without any further ado let's go to the shower and wash my hair so i'm just starting by wetting my hair with just water and just getting everything ready for shampooing and the shampoo that i'm using is the tresemme cleanse and repellish shampoo this is a clarifying shampoo with multivitamin and because it's a clarifying shampoo it does remove product buildup and residues that are stored right into your hair and this multivitamin shampoo is gently enough for daily use you can use it every day without any problems so i just like to apply a generous amount on my hair and just massage it in make make sure that all the hair is covered and i also like to rub it in with my nails i don't have like one of those uh, scrubbing brushes but i like to use my nails just to get deep in there and clean all the product build up and then once i'm done with that i just go ahead and rinse it off with warm water And then next I'm going in with the Transame Cleanse and Repellish uh, Conditioner. And this one has Pro-Vitamin B5 and Aloe. 
and I love to use it right after the clarifying shampoo because I feel like it just adds a little bit of moisture into my hair but without any product buildup and I love that it just leaves my hair like super soft and shiny and manageable and I also like to use this detangling brush so I just go ahead and brush my hair from back going to the front and this also helps with product distribution and then once I'm done with that I just go ahead and rinse again with warm water And next I'm taking my favorite hair product and this is the Hair Mayonnaise by Africa's Best. I absolutely love this product. It has virgin olive oil. It is formulated with natural herbs, olive oil and egg proteins. So this product is absolutely perfect for protein treatment. Like it leaves my hair feeling so strong and so healthy. Even though I'm dealing with some damages, but it absolutely helps my hair a lot. So this is going to help strengthen and repair my damaged hair and after applying it i just put a shower cap and leave it for an hour so i'm back now after rinsing off the hair mayonnaise and my hair feels conditioned and this is how it's currently looking it's just dried a little bit so now i'm going to apply some heat protector and this is the heat defense by perfect touch so this is going to help prevent heat damage on my hair and i'm just gonna use my blow dryer and my white tooth comb to dry my hair So I got this castor oil, a growth oil from Native Child. So I've seen a lot of good reviews about this oil and I thought I should give it a try, especially now. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it directly onto my scalp. it does say on the um ingredient list here that there's also like some rosemary leaf oil and tea tree i can definitely smell the tea tree and there's also like lavender and other things like peppermint it feels amazing and it smells amazing so hopefully it will do the job so that's it for my hair wash routine and also updating you guys on what's been going on with my hair so please let me know if you've had any 
similar situation that I'm currently in and how did you manage to regrow your hair back to normal so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you found it like helpful i will list all the products in the description box below that i use today and yeah don't forget to like subscribe and enable notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and i'll see you guys in my next one bye